Hello YouTube, welcome to channel 48. My name is Puck, how are you doing? Well, um, what you're looking at is uh, after install, I just installed uh, Ubuntu 18 Mate 32 bit. This is the 1804.1 and it's the Mate edition. And what you're looking at right now is right after the install, I connected to the internet and I opened Software Boutique. Software Boutique will be the only source uh, available uh, after you installed Ubuntu 18 Mate 32-bit. As you know, Ubuntu is not supporting 32-bit anymore officially, but the uh, other community developers, they create the 18 versions under Lubuntu, Xubuntu, Kubuntu, and as well Mate. So, what I want to show you, and what I'm going to prove to you in this video, is that this software store that you're seeing right now, the software boutique, will break after update. And what I'm doing now is I'm installing Synaptic Package Manager and the software center uh, from out that, that uh, software boutique store. As you all know, in the software boutique, we also have a tab, more software, and there you're going to find the software center and the synaptic package manager. Why am I installing them now? Well, because I have some updates waiting for me. And if I'm going to install these updates, then I will not be able to install a software center anymore or any other application because the store will break. You see all these updates that are waiting there for me? Right after the install, these will pop up. And if you hit OK, and you're gonna install them and reboot, and you did not install the software store yet from out the, uh, um, the software boutique, then you're gonna have a problem, noobs, will have a problem and even uh, uh, those that know a bit with uh, you know terminal installing etc they also gonna have a problem because i ran into this problem before it was unfixable to me i had to reinstall a complete new version and then i got smart and then uh, you know i understood that before doing this what you're seeing now in the screen i'm updating the system now before doing this make sure that you first install your software center you know and your synaptic package manager you know before doing anything else also don't install kodi from the software boutique because kodi it's not working okay it will install but you will find out that the thing cannot connect to you know it will be some local media player so only get the software store and the synaptic package manager and then go ahead and and and, and update the system and uh, after the this is done we're gonna uh, have to reboot the system and then i'm gonna show you and prove to you that software boutique that you just saw uh, at the beginning of this video that was working fine will not work anymore so in fact this update is breaking uh, uh, the software boutique and and if you were not smart and you thought you're gonna first update because you want to be on the safe side you know you want to first do your updating things you know and then you're gonna install apps then in fact uh, <laughs> you can better go ahead and reinstall because yeah if you don't know how to install applications uh, via the terminal uh, then um, yeah you will feel like a noob in uh, in holiday land so um, yeah, I'm gonna let this go and when this is done, I'm gonna get back to you and then we're gonna reboot the system. Okay, there we go. So um, everything is installed and we need to restart the system. So see what's gonna happen now.
booting the Mac up. This was so nicely fixed, we don't have that broken folder anymore. On the iMac we do still have that. I think it's uh, it has to do with the sort of bias that are in these Macs. And now our software boutique will be broken. It will not work anymore. Administration, software boutique. Look what's going to happen. Yep, that's right. As you can see, nothing is happening. And Software Boutique is now officially broken. So if you did not take any precautions and did not install Software Center, then my friend, you just lost your access to, to the App Store to the software center of Ubuntu. And then some will say yes, but uh, you can easily go ahead and uh, sudo up get uh, install software center. Well, go, go try it and tell me again if it works. Only thing that I could uh, really install via the terminal in my past uh, problem that I run into, uh, but I did not continue the work because I did not want to deliver uh, a distro with a broken a broken store so in fact i fixed this distro by uh yeah by by doing these steps by installing there you can see it it's it's getting all white out it's not uh, loading anymore uh, so i fixed the distro by removing this uh this the software boutique out of the distro and of course i also uh, pushed in the software center so in my 18 versions 32-bit uh, of Ubuntu uh, you won't have this problem but remember it if you're gonna install Ubuntu Mate 32-bit then this is a problem that you're gonna run into 100% because uh, yeah you're gonna update the system and after the updating of the system you're gonna be totally messed up we're trying it for a second time here but you can try until tomorrow it's not gonna work so yeah this was my proof that the updates kill the software boutique in ubuntu mate 32-bit well, that was it my friends thank you for watching if you know another fix uh, for people that you know uh, actually updated and then run into the problem then discover you know oh my store is not working and they come to see this video uh, to find a fix uh, please write down your fix in uh, the comments if you have another fixes other terminal commands so we can you know even though uh, the software boutique got broken we can still install a software center uh, because the normal commands uh, they don't work it's saying sources not available and I don't know what crazy things man so if you know the answers to these crazy things let me know this was the only and best fix uh, that i could find to still uh, run ubuntu 18.04.1 32-bit uh, on my system uh, not losing the access to the software center thank you for watching if this video helped out leave it a thumbs up uh, and subscribe to my channel hey but only if you're going to hit the notifying bell, ring the bell. You know, Scotty says, ring the bell.